Got here early this morning. It is a get it done type day because they are calling for a inch and a half to two inches of rain tonight and tomorrow. So anything that I do out here is needs to focus on finishing grade. All this here today and working my way towards the back and getting this blasted pile of stuff right here hauled back there. Uh, it's not many loads, but it's probably, there's probably eight or nine loads right there. Uh, today's goal is to get that moved back there, hell or high water. And uh, yeah, it, it's going to happen. <laughs> uh because after uh tonight that will not happen again so it looks like it has dried off a lot the mud that i did smear is now now dry so i don't think it's going to be a problem might just be a problem right through there might might just have to pick another path of direction but till the sun comes up i'm going to jump on the dozer and just start kind of blading over some stuff down there uh and then get over there and get the truck started up it's 25 this morning so it's pretty cold uh, i'll make a good cold start video on the dump truck let's get to work it's a waiting game, waiting to be able to see. Got it warming up as quick as it can here. Give it a little more ponies here. Get some heat going in here. I guess I need to switch over to my de-icing washer fluid. Yeah, that one's frozen. This one frozen? No, this one's not frozen. Might be able to see soon enough. That one's never really sprayed for some reason. We'll just have to look out that window. It has really dried out a lot out here. I think I can uh, make that look pretty today. So I got a path bladed in here now with the dozer. I'm gonna go ahead and start this up and let it warm up and uh, see how bad it smokes. But I don't think hauling's going to be a problem today. Uh, just being out, be able to see out the windows will be. Watch that. Ready to finally load this pile out. It's gonna to work today. I know it will. We're still gonna film it though in case it doesn't. Oh, uh, that is actually still smoking. That pile of ashes right there that has not burnt in a month now. All right, I'm gonna go down here and get the truck and uh, hopefully it'll make it through here. Everything bladed out pretty nice, so should be good to go now. And here we go. Everybody's making fun of my poor wiper blade, but you know what? It no worky, so I'm not replacing it. About the only thing that does work in here is the uh, heat and AC. And currently the heat is working pretty good. That mirror does not defrost. We'll just have to back up with this side. All right, well, so far so good. Stay up here on this high ground. I think everything is going to be okie dokie. Get these few loads hauled. And then uh, I'm going to work on getting all this graded out up here. And then whatever time I have left this afternoon, work on uh, burning the rest of that stuff out back. And there's a couple more stumps to dig up on the far side and grade what I can back there.
the part I have not been looking forward to this last pile of ashes that has to go to the back back there I think I'm just gonna get baby scoops try not to make this too dusty at least the wind I'm not even gonna say it because it'll change it's blowing away from me likely some of it's going to catch back on fire because it is hot still big giant pile of pine straw and stick still it's it's hard to believe that that did not burn been sitting here for a month now. Stump. So the reason I didn't mix all that other stuff with this is this stuff is still hot and all that other stuff was pine straw and bark and what will happen is it will actually set that on fire believe it or not it will and it will just sit there and smolder and smolder and make the god awfulest amount of smoke and stink so that is the reasoning i did not mix all that wet pine straw and everything in stuff in with it uh, because it would it would dry it out enough where it would catch on fire again it happens
two loads of this. There's still a couple stumps in here. Because I had to just pile it up. Without being able to clear under it. down there and spread out all this stuff um, that needs to be filled in. We'll just, we'll see how time goes. It's already 10 o'clock. Time just slips away when you're doing stuff like this. It just always eats it up. Alright, let me go dump that and I'll be into the dark tonight to uh, get a fire back started shouldn't take much but I would like to get all this stuff piled up and burning tonight before all that rain comes uh, it's only about two dump truck loads of stumps left and some brush I left enough brush to be able to burn this I knew the uh, the brush would burn up quick so I really wasn't too worried about uh, leaving that but uh, I needed that to be able to burn these stumps, so it's kind of a rhyme to reason for everything, I guess. So I'm going to load these up, park the excavator, jump on the dozer, blade that up real quick, and haul that last load, probably one more load, maybe, maybe a load and a half, uh, back there to the back, and then everything that needs to be hauled will be Hauled. and I can park the truck and that's probably going to go back to my house uh, I got a little job to do next door a little clearing job that I'm thinking this machine is going to go to uh, to fill in a little gap before I start two other big ponds that I have to do out of town so a whole lot going on just trying to work around the weather and best of the time I have to work. That should be all the stumps from up here. So I'm going to park the excavator, jump on the dozer after I dump this and push all this up. I'll set the camera up for a little time lapse on that.
that first load of ashes that I dumped in the hole? Told you it was still hot. It's burning. Uh, so while that's burning, I'm going to go ahead and pile some brush on there and uh, let that burn down. Still got all this right here to burn, which really won't take too long. Well, that was the last load. Got the truck parked over there on high ground. So whenever I decide to move it, I don't have to drive it through the mud. Got the rake moved and uh, I'm gonna eat lunch real quick and then uh, jump on the dozer and start right here and start working my way all the way down and across. Hopefully get that knocked out in, oh, two or three hours. So some people ask me what I do for lunch sometimes and uh, Days when there's no breakfast, no breaks, and barely time for lunch. Uh, ham, turkey, bacon, cheese wrap, and a Gatorade will get you through the day. So I'm going to whoop this down real quick start grading.
thing if I ain't been busy on this dozer. It's uh, getting kind of dark, but uh, I got about another hour left. I'm gonna jump on the excavator and come down here and throw the rest of that brush in the fire. And I got a couple more stumps over there to pop up. I'm gonna throw them in there so that they can burn down tonight. A couple more passes to make right here with the dozer, but everything from pretty much right here all the way up to the equipment is done. I don't have to go over that again, just in time for the rain. This down here is just gonna have to wait, which uh, really not the end of the world. Um, but uh, once I get all that finished burnt and all that stuff spread out, it should dry out enough to grade that out. So I'm just trying to get everything done that I need the big excavator for, cause it needs to go to another project. Shaping up though. I'm going to throw the last of this brush from this pile on the fire taken off pretty good. The rest of this is just going to get pushed down in here. And then I have got to go load those last two loads of, well, I've already loaded one out. I'll haul those last two loads and get my butt on that dozer and start grading everything out because it is almost lunchtime and it will be dark at four o'clock with it this cloudy and I can come back down here in the dark and stack this but I did kind of want to get a hot fire going
it's dark now. I watched the sun come up and didn't really see the sunset. It uh, never really came out this morning, after this morning. So I just came down here and restacked the pile. Got all the, ugh, sleepy. Got all the brush right there. Uh, flipped over and into the burn pile. So that should burn down tonight. And every stump that needed to be dug up, is dug up. There's a couple ones back behind me that I'm sure I've missed, but uh, I can throw those in the hole later on. But that should burn down pretty good. And I may come back over here in the morning and just kind of restack everything. And that will pretty much be it for burning. 